Hi friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm Pat. I've put together a collection of summer farmhouse DIYs for my home decor. These DIYs are super fun and easy to do, so let's jump right into it. This adorable side table has a handy magazine rack built in. I painted three coats of my homemade white chalk paint and allowed drying time between each coat. This paint job has already transformed this table from dark and drab to farmhouse fresh and ready for summer. I'm adding a distressed element of Waverly chalk paint in ink to all the edges with a brush. This is a dry brush technique, which means I'm using very little paint on the brush. Also, my brush strokes are very light with little pressure. Dry brush along every visible edge. This is a great alternative for a distressed look. If you are unsure about using sanding tools to achieve a distressed look, you can count on this method. I also like to lightly stroke the brush along some of the flat surfaces. Although it isn't an authentic finish, you can eliminate guesswork with sanding tools and eliminate the cleaning that is required afterwards. I wanted to create a windmill to complement my windmill artwork on the wall. I found these three adorable pinwheels at Dollar Tree. First, I remove the pointed ends on all three pinwheels. I remove two of the wheels. I remove the flower petals from the third one. The spinning gear will be used for my windmill. I will be using one of these small trays from Dollar Tree as a base. I'm measuring to see what width will fit into the base. These bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree will be used as bars for the windmill. I will cut and hot glue six pieces to create a ladder effect. And I place the same amount of bars to all three sides. Now I measure to see how far the back leg needs to be placed. And now I will gently glue the bars to the other two sides to make the structure more stable. I'll add crossbars to the front of the windmill and I realized I have to glue on one side of the crossbars to the back area. and then glue the other half of the cross to the front area. I created three crossbars on the front. Now I'll add glue to the top of my structure to help keep all three legs together. I'm taking this floral foam from Dollar Tree and placing it in the base so that I can push the feet of my windmill into it. Using hot glue will help ensure it stays in place. And now I'll glue eight bamboo skewer pieces to the spinning gear to create the blades for the windmill. 
I place each piece evenly apart. Now I'm taking two inch pieces cut from small popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree and gluing them to the skewers. I left a half inch of the skewers exposed. I'm taking Waverly chalk paint in white and applying two coats to the base. I'll use ink to paint all the surfaces on the windmill that aren't already black. I'm painting all of the bamboo skewers and the popsicle sticks. My windmill will have a black base coat with gray layers. My second layer will be Waverly chalk paint in steel. I lightly brush on the paint in a dry brush technique with a small paintbrush. I use a highlight application, which means I don't cover the whole area. I simply apply the paint to raised areas. When applying the paint to the fan blades, I keep the paint in the center areas and do not paint the end of the blades. Now I'm taking the steel chalk paint and distressing the base. The third layer will be Waverly's silver lining. This coat will be even more lightly applied Using the layers of gray will help to create a metal, galvanized, and weathered look. Now I'm hot gluing jute twine around my base for an added farmhouse touch. I will use this reindeer moss from Walmart to cover the floral foam. Hot glue will secure it.
I thrifted this sweet angel and want to add him to my decor. I will first apply two coats of white chalk paint. After drying, I will apply agave in the dry brushing technique to the cross. This dry brush technique reveals all the details beautifully. I apply it also to the ground area. Now using silver lining, I will dry brush over the angel. For my farmhouse summer floral arrangement, I chose an enameled look pitcher and summery flowers. First I hot glued some floral foam to the bottom. I purchased these sunflowers at Walmart and trimmed the long stems. Cotton is harvested from late July through August, so it's a perfect addition to my farmhouse summer floral arrangement. I purchased one cotton ball stem from Walmart and separated it into several pieces. I love cotton because growing up my father was a cotton farmer and cotton is a fond memory of my childhood. I thrifted a bunch of these teal rosebuds and love the contrast to the yellow of the sunflowers. Extra leaves can be removed to keep your arrangement from getting too bushy. I purchased the adorable daisies from Dollar Tree. What's more farmhouse than a distressed old fence? To create this picket fence, I used one of these 8x10 canvas boards from Walmart. I will use three sponges to apply some of the paint. I placed my board in a landscape position on this easel. This first white sponge will be used to create the fence. The green sponge will be the top of the fence posts, so I'm trimming the corners of one end. I will first use green and yellow acrylic paints from Apple Barrel I bought at Walmart. I dab green all over the canvas with the second white sponge. Using green mixed with yellow, and white, I dab this all over the dark green.
I mix this color with more yellow. I'm using one of the trimmed pieces of the sponge to apply the yellow-green mixture to create a bright green grass effect. Now I'm taking white paint and covering the white sponge. I place the sponge with half of it off of the canvas to create the first fence post. Then I cover the green sponge with paint and place it above the white sponge. I press both sponges to the canvas. Using the sponge, I dab on the paint to any spaces that the sponges didn't cover. Now I'll create three more fence posts. I'll now add the fence bracing. Using the side of the sponge, I'll apply white paint. Mixing brown and black paint, I'll create the shading and distressed areas of my fence. I'll first add dimension to the fence posts. Now I'll add distressed areas to each post. I'm adding these lines to separate the posts from the bracing. Mixing my paint with white creates another layer of paint for shading. Now using black paint and a very small brush, I'm giving my painting more depth with this dark layer.
Now I'm taking my tiny green sponge again and mixing the yellow green paint with white to really make my grass background pop with this highlighted layer. To see how I created my windmill painting, check out my video. With sponges and brushes, I created this super cute windmill painting. I'm adding the link to the description box. I applied three coats of white chalk paint to the Walmart picture frames, and the results are a wall of farmhouse art. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope my crafts and artwork inspired you to create some summer farmhouse decor to enjoy in your home. For any questions or comments, please feel free to add them to my comment section below. If you found this video entertaining, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and select all to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Thanks again for stopping by and until the next video, have a great day.